I thought it was time to learn a new skill. I thought a latch hook would be really fun. It's kind of like punch needle but a different motion and technique and it's completely new to me so I have no idea what materials to get and how it works. The best way to learn is by getting a kit of course. I got a kit from We Are Knitters. They always come in a lovely brown bag like this. And the project that we're going to make is called Conceptual. As you can see, it's got a lot of texture and color. So that's totally up uh, my alley. I will be opening the bag now and let's see what's inside. Golden, I'll follow them. Golden, golden, golden thing. Okay, so let's open her up. We've got a sticker on the back. Here we go. So we've got the base uh, cloth fabric or whatever you call it. We've got a lot of yarns. So this is a wool yarn, 100% wool yarn. It's really soft and squishy. And I've got several. So that's actually quite a lot of yarn. So each one of these is 100 grams or three and a half Oz. And so they're quite big and I've got six colors. So that's quite a bit. And then I have an envelope. Let's open it up later. Of course, we've got the hook and C. So it's a wooden hook and it says we are knitters and it's got the little thingy and I have no idea how to work this yet so let's see about that and let's open up the envelope. It's got a label so I guess you can attach that later. We've got some sewing needles here and then we have some stickers and pattern and we've got a complete explanation on how to do this so let's get started So I've marked off the area with some crosses to see where the design is going to go. Um, I've taken a little piece and yeah, I just tried it a little bit uh, with the explanation that was given here. And if I understand it correctly, what we're supposed to do is insert and come up on the next square then take the yarn fold it in half and put it under the hook then we pull it down and by pulling it down this one will move up by itself like that so now I have this loop underneath here and now I can take my uh, hook again and grab these and pull it under it and now we've made this knot here so that's how I'm going to do it looks like a raya knot which you make in weaving so and then on each little square we can insert some yarn like this and make fringe so I think that is doable, but first we will have to cut the yarn and it's um, the information is here on how many strands and how long they have to be. So that's going to be a bit of work, but there is a technique for that. So let's do that. So I've got a piece of cardboard right here and it's the length that the yarn is supposed to be. And now I'm going to take my yarn and then wrap it around the cardboard 
loosely, not too tight. And what I can then do is cut it on both ends like that. And cut it in half. And now I've got my fringe ready to go. And obviously I will need a lot more, but just let me get started a bit and see. And I'm just going to start on one end. I did look at some YouTube videos and I noticed that some people do it differently. But yeah, I'm just going to stick to this method because it seems to work well. quite easy to me and works pretty well in this way so let me just show you more up close so I go in and under take my yarn and that and under make sure the hook closes like that and grab and Hook the yarn and pull it through. You can adjust it a bit with your fingers. So I will continue my row. Agents of the other, beyond gravel, beyond So I usually make a lot of punch needle videos and well I can say that this is quite a different technique and it's more exact I guess because you have this square structure and you're just going to stay in these squares so it's very easy to follow a pattern and make it exactly as it's supposed to be whereas punch needle is more illustrative and you make your own shapes and you have to figure out how big the loops have to be, how big your stitches have to be and so on. And this is more, yeah, like I said, it's exact. So probably easier to learn and to make a pattern, follow a pattern like that. And yeah, it's a repetitive motion, quite easy, I guess, once you get the hang of it. So you just have to see how it works with this little moving thingy. But once you get the hang of that, it's really not that difficult. And I think the explanation uh, was really in the kit was actually quite good. You just have to read it and do exactly as it says and even though it seems a bit overwhelming at first once you do it exactly like that it's really not that bad yeah first thoughts are positive So I folded the excess here like this. Now I'm sewing it in. So what I do is 
in between the stitches here and then coming up here so I'm making sure that I take both pieces of cloth so this piece but also what's in between the stitches that way I sew the margin to the actual project so I'll go in between under the mesh and then just pull on it it's fairly easy and on the other side you don't see any of it so this is quite a big stretch so I'm going to cut off till I have about three of these rows left so this entire piece like this okay and I'm also going to cut this corner here so this bit and this bit so that when I fold it over like that it's not too thick and so I'm going all around and then I'm done so that was a fun project to make and I really love the result texturized and uh, soft so I love that I just wanted to give you two tips so if you plan on doing this yourself let you king uh, one of the things that I've noticed is that the um, canvas the latch hook canvas is actually quite coarse and you're leaning on it all the time while holding the yarn and pulling the yarn through you're leaning on it with your arm here and I've noticed that I was doing it for two days straight basically to finish this to make this video and I noticed that it got a little bit sore so what I did I took an old t-shirt or some cloth doesn't matter and then put it under my arm and then just move it around like that and that really helped me a lot and the second tip to speed it along a little bit is you've got this pile of yarn clippings and every time you take one it kind of sticks to the other bits so what i did before i started hooking i would uh, take all the pieces just lay them out and then i could just easily grab one and go on like that and it really made a lot of difference also in the having fun part so yeah i'm really happy with my little piece i think i will put it on a little bench that i have like a sort of a cushion to sit on but i could also sew this into a pillow and have like a super texturized pillow and of course this technique is really great for making rugs and it's i think even designed to make rugs and um but what i can say so this piece it's not that big but it took me some time to make and i think if you want to make a rug it's going to be a big project so try out something small first see if you like it and then you can see if you want to make a rug i can see me doing it maybe over a longer period of time taking a lot of breaks because your arm will get sore if you do this motion all the time so you really need breaks like breaks of several days i even think but other than that it's a great technique easy easy to follow a pattern easy to learn and just beautiful result i really love how with this type of wool yarn the ends just make these little points by themselves and it gets this really cool yeah rug-like texture so i really love that so if you want to make this yourself and think well this kit might be a good idea to get started you can go to we are knitters i have a link in my description and with the code that is written there you can get a 15 
percent discount so that's nice and when you buy it through this link uh, i will get a small commission if you buy something on the site it doesn't have to necessarily be this kit you can buy anything on the site that really supports the channel so thank you so much i hope to see you next time i hope you enjoyed this video guys bye these might be fun videos to watch next learn how to weave a beautiful cloud or make a piece with embroidery and punch needle. Enjoy!